How to Make Great Downloadable PDFs. This is a tutorial on layering. Working with layers in PDFs can be kind of complex, but the results add interactivity and functionality. For example, layering maps or worksheets creates a hide show feature that allows key points of information to be revealed when ready, or placing text and graphics on different layers allows the text to be printed uh, by itself by shutting off the graphics and saving you a little printer ink. Let's start at the very beginning here. If you are starting in InDesign, don't worry if you're not, we'll take it from starting in Acrobat already, but if you're starting in InDesign, please remember to set your export layers to visible and printable layers when you're exporting your PDF. That's this little area down here. It'll just give you a little bit of an edge when you're ready to work with your layers. If you're starting in a PDF, let's open up a PDF and get started. If you're starting in a PDF, we can still create layers and add layers unless we're working from a scanned document. How well layers can be manipulated really depends on the PDF you're working with. For this demo, we'll be working with a file that was exported from InDesign, and we will create and add layers in Acrobat 9. This file right here has uh, uh, not has no excuse me layers in it just yet, and we can see that by opening the layer menu over here on the left. If you don't see the layer menu over there on the left, it's really easy to open. You simply go under View, go under your navigational panels, and then here's Layers. You just click on it, and it'll open. So as you can see, we do not have any layers in this file just yet. So let me show you how to create them under this little. Um, under the advanced pull down menu, excuse me, you go to pre flight, and at the top of the pre flight menu that opens, we will have uh, several different tools that we can work with, but we're going to stick with create separate layers for vector objects, text, and images, which is the first choice under create PDF layers. Click the analyze and fix, and it'll ask you to save it. It's running a little bit slow. And it'll ask you to save it. We're going to save it to the desktop, and we're just going to make it a new. Uh, a new name so that we can find it easily. And once it's done creating the layers, it's going to ask you to close the file. Uh, it won't be able to show you the layers until you close the file and reopen it. So let's close that menu and we'll close this and we'll open the new file that we've just created. Let me line this up so you can see what we're doing here and make it small enough so you can see what we're doing here. And then we'll open up the layers menu on the left and now you can see that the images, the text, and the vector objects are all on separate layers. We can turn them on and off as we need to. Uh, and this is a, a great tool um, if you would like to just print the book with uh, text only and you don't want to waste all your ink on artwork and um, vector graphics, you can shut off the images and the vector graphics and all that you're left with, with is the text and it'll print just the text when it's shut off. Very handy tool. Now say you have, uh, let me turn these layers back on. And I'll show you how to add a layer. Say you have, for example, this page right here originally had a piece of artwork on it. So we're, I'm going to show you how to add that artwork back as its own layer. But you can do this as well for um, like map keys or answers to worksheets. There's lots of different applications where you can use this. So I'm going to show you how to add a layer that you can um, turn on and off separately. So we're just going to go underneath this little tool uh, inside the toolbox. And we're going to import uh, a file as a layer. Um, it gives us a huge window, as you can see. Most of the information you're going to need is over here. So let's move it over here. We're going to find our source, which is page 6. We're going to tell it over here what page that we want this to be on. We want it to be on page 6. There it is, which is actually page 8 in the um, PDF. And let's go back over here and look at our different settings that we have here. We want to create a new layer, so let's name this. Uh, I'm just going to name it Art. The art is missing from that page. And then you have a whole bunch of other um, options that you can use. And you, you don't really need to mess with it too much, uh, but if you want to, take your time. And then on the bottom right, which you can't see, I'm just going to click OK. And there's the artwork. It's in there. We can turn it on and off, separate from the rest of the objects on the page. So we can turn off the text. We can turn off the art. 
But the image, it's not in the image layer. We could add it to the image layer when we add it if we want to. But in this case, it's right here. And we can turn it on and off. So if you're working from, um, uh, let's go back to say maps again. So if you're working for a map that you want to show to somebody and say want them to um, try and guess what uh, uh, states are where, you can have the states uh, names on a different layer like this, adding it in. And then you can simply leave it turned off and let them pick and then you can turn it on to reveal your answers. It's a really handy tool to have. It works in a lot of different ways, and it's useful for a lot of different reasons. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial on adding and creating layers inside your PDF, and I hope you find it useful. Thank you.